Namaste. Welcome to the science class. Today we will be learning about some of the practical version of the different separation methods. We were learning about how to separate the mixtures of solids with solids. Now these are the different separation methods which we will be learning today. First it is hand picking. Now hand picking is mainly done when the components of the mixture are in different sizes, colors and shapes. Now let us come to the practical desk. Now in this plate you can see that there are two varieties of dal. Both are in different colors and approximately different sizes too. Yes, so we have the brown colored horseshoe gram and also the split pigeon piece which we commonly called as the tur dal. So these can be easily separated by hand picking in this way. Yes, okay. This method of hand picking is usually done for the mixtures which are in small quantities right so this is about hand picking method now let us look into the second method of separation this is nothing but sieving so in this you can see that there are some pebbles and also wheat flour yes so this method of sieving is usually used to separate the fine particles from the coarse particles this is done by using sieve. So we have this is one sieve which we generally use in household purposes. Yes. So the sieves over here you can see that the holes are very small. Yes. Okay. Other than that we can also use some sieves of larger pore size in this way. Right. So now let us take a plate. And then sieve these. Pour the components of the mixture in the sieve and just slightly shake them. You can see that the fine particles are coming down in the plate and the coarse particles are left out in the sieve itself right so now we have separated the coarse particles from the fine particles so this is the method of sieving now let us come to the third method of separation now this is magnetic separation in this we will be mainly separating the mixture of magnetic substances from the non-magnetic substances right so before that let us see here i have got two different shapes of magnet this u-shaped magnet is actually called as a horseshoe shape magnet okay so it has got north pole and the south pole at two ends right then here are the bar magnets so this is called as the bar magnet right okay now in this tray you can see that there are few plastic items yes there are few plastic items some stones or the pebbles right and also some pins right we know that iron is a magnetic substance so what is a magnetic substance anything which gets attracted towards the magnet is called as a magnetic substance so now we can easily separate the pins by using this magnet only thing you need to do is just take this bar magnet and just drill around in the tray you have you can see that the pins have got attracted towards the magnet these pins are actually made up of iron as iron is a magnetic substance so 
we can see that it got the pins have got attracted towards the magnet so from this mixture we can easily separate the magnetic substances from the non magnetic substances now let us learn about a very interesting method that is sublimation sublimation is used to separate the sublime substances from the non sublime substances we know that camphor naphthalene ammonium chloride and iodine are some of the substances that sublime on heating now let us start with the experiment now for this experiment we require a tripod stand a wire gauze a spirit lamp or a candle a china dish an inverted funnel a little bit of cotton and this is the soil any substance that actually sublimes on heating this is camphor i have grounded this camphor and made into a powder in this way right we also need a match stick let us start the experiment first take the tripod stand fix it above the candle keep a wire gauge on that and then put the china dish on it now before going to the next step plug in the inverted funnel with the cotton so nicely plug in the cotton onto the mouth of the funnel okay right now we will make a mixture of solids and solids solids with solids so i have kept this soil particles and also some amount of camphor right now this has got mixed up okay this has got mixed up now separating this mixture is very difficult for me so for this process we will be using the sublimation process right okay we will keep the inverted funnel in this way light the candle with the match stick this process takes around 5 to 10 minutes for the camphor to get separated so let us wait for the result now you can see that the camphor which is there inside is turning into its gaseous form so this is what is a sublime substance is it just gets converted from its solid state directly to its gaseous state you can see a cloudy appearance inside the inverted funnel now we have to continue the process of heating till the camphor which is there inside gets totally converted into its gaseous state this camphor when it has got converted into its gaseous state it gets deposited on the surface of the inner surface of the inverted funnel so let us wait for some more time and observe the result now it has been around 10 minutes that we have started with the experiment now we can see that a white powdery substance which has got deposited inside the funnel so let us just check it out it is a bit hot you can see that there is a white powdery substance when we just scrape it this is nothing but the camphor you can see this yes 
which has got crystallized right it, the smoke which is actually coming is nothing but the gaseous state of camphor okay so this is how the solid substance which was there has actually got condensed into the gaseous form and once uh, it is cooled then it is now again back into its solid form so as it has directly converted from its solid state to its gaseous state and that is the reason why it is called as the sublime substances so by the help of sublimation we can separate the sublime substances with the non sublime substances as you can see here we are now left out only with soil particles yes hope you have understood the concept in these practicals thank you